what is going on, everybody? That's right, coming at you. I felt like the Undertaker this morning uh, when he rose up out of the coffin and just looked across. Yeah, I, I really do feel like the Undertaker. Look, I've already taken off today, but I'm going to work. I feel so good. Usually every year I take off the day after the Super Bowl, especially if my team's in it. Uh, that's kind of like my tradition at work. Everyone knows, man, I love football. It's the last football game until, you know, 200 plus days, uh, you know, until we get football again. So uh, the, the fact that my team was in the, in the final in the Super Bowl, man, uh, I was nervous. I thought that we were up against a juggernaut. I still think that. I think the Eagles uh, were a complete team. I think the only thing we had going for us is what I got on my shirt, baby. I think we had uh, Magic Mahomes. Uh, and, you know, going into the half, you saw him wobbly-dobbly, baby. Uh, but he came out, you know, he, he peg leg Mahomes, did it once again, uh, Chiefs fans. And, God, two Super Bowls. In my lifetime, the Chiefs have been able to grab. Uh, we've been to three in my lifetime. I'm just, just, you know, I, I know a lot of Saints fans watch my show, and um, y'all know what it was like. You know, if you're old enough, you damn it, you remember what this place was like. You know, I was, I've always been a Chiefs fan since 2001, 2002 season. Uh, but I remember, man, I lived on the Gulf Coast. I remember, um, you know, when the Saints went to the Super Bowl. Actually, when they went to the Super Bowl, I was already living over in Louisiana and um, on the North Shore. And uh, the place was just electric. The whole atmosphere of Louisiana changed. Uh, after that game, it kind of gave us, a, you know, after Katrina, after that Super Bowl, uh, it, it gave us like a motivation. You know, Drew Brees carried the city on his back with Sean Payton. And it was huge, man. And, and what the Chiefs have been able to do with Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid, Travis Kelsey, you know, these types of guys, Chris Jones, too, a Mississippi State product, um, guys like that. Um, it's just freaking awesome to witness because at one point in my life, uh, I had, you know, I was content, guys. I was content with the Chiefs never winning a Super Bowl. We, you know, with, during the Trent Green, Priest Holmes, Dwayne Bowe, uh, those, Dante Hall, my favorite player of all time, Dante Hall, during those games, uh, you know, we were always good. You know, we would always make the playoffs. Uh, most of the time, we'd make the playoffs and lose the first round, you know. Uh, but we got Alex Smith along the way, and he started winning some playoff games. And then Andy Reid went out and got uh, Patrick Mahomes traded up for him in the draft, got Patrick Mahomes. And, oh, man, he, Patrick Mahomes took it to a new level. You know, he sat on the bench as far as rookie year. Got to play the very last game against the Broncos. Won that game, uh, not not by a whole lot, uh, but Mahomes won his first game as a rookie, uh, as a starter. And the next season, Andy Reid threw him the keys, man. And, you know, we traded off Alex Smith. And ever since then, we've been, you know, motivated. Kansas City, the area, everything about it, it's, it's, it's different, man. And it reminds me a lot of, you know, what, what Drew Brees and them did. Uh, down in Louisiana, you know, for the Saints and for the community. and Man, it's just, I hope the dynasty, and here I am, right? I hope the dynasty continues. I hope the Chiefs, you know, can regain everyone. You know, our rookies were badass this year. Isaiah Pacheco, Scott Moore, uh, Laurinaitis, just all these guys, could, just really good, really good talent for the Chiefs. And, man, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, I'm blessed that, you know, Southern Miss football went out with a bang. Uh, bowl game win. The um, the basketball teams, you know, only got four freaking losses and 20 plus victories. Uh, Southern Miss basketball, I'm talking about. And then you got the Chiefs, man. You got the Chiefs that just refs help or not, bro. NFL scripted or not. My team's winning, right? NFL scripted or not. Refs helping us out or not. My team winning, baby. And it feels great. So, y'all keep writing a good script, NFL. Keep playing the part, baby. Let the Chiefs win some more Super Bowls. Let people argue, you know, is Patrick Mahomes the greatest of all time? No, he's not. No, he's not going to be the greatest. Tom Brady's the greatest of all time, folks. I don't. I think when Brady beat Tom, uh, when Tom Brady beat Mahomes in that Super Bowl, you know, when he he went there for one year and took the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who were not that good, to a freaking Super Bowl and beat 
a juggernaut, a, a juggernaut at the time, juggernaut, uh, a juggernaut at the time, which was the Chiefs that year. Uh, so, uh, I, but if, the, if if it is scripted, right? If the NFL is scripted, if the if the, the, the refs are helping us, y'all keep doing this and fueling that fire because it's a good conversation for me. Y'all have a good one, Southern Miss fans to the dog on top. Check out the new Super Bowl hat I got on. I'm I'm feeling myself, man. I'm feeling myself. It's even got the patch on the side, baby. Y'all get after, baby. Have a good day at work. Look, I'm not even supposed to be going to work, but here I am, baby, to the topping at work. Y'all have a good one. Refs, keep writing that script for us, baby.